Are you cold? I think it's freezing in here, but... How are you? <laughs> Silence. Yeah. Hi. Um, you had a couple of scenes where you realize the Seeker is basically in the same situation as Wanda and Melanie, but it's not. We don't really hear it. You just see a couple of scenes of it. Um, what was what was that like? Well, you don't want to give that away. I'm not sure you really want to blog about that because that's sort of the reveal of the film. You know, yeah. you come to understand the conflict that is going on between the souls and the and the the rest of the humans. Yeah. And, um, that's initially what attracted me to the role is that you think she's one thing and then you come to find out she's really not. So did you have yourself pre-recorded for any of for any of that time or did you imagine your inner quarrel with Lacey? We started out pre-recording it. I don't know if Sersha told you she actually did most of her scenes with a, a, a headset. And, um, I, 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 we started out like it, but it was becoming crazy because she had one, I had one, and we were like completely confused because we had these voices inside of our head. But uh, with Andrew Nicola, our director, who also wrote the script, we kind of found little places to uh, put in weird moments that you don't really understand until the end when you sort of get it. Can you talk a little bit about like what you did to really get into the character, like the development of it? Um, well, I, you know, I, I, I read the script, they sent it to me, and I, I had not read the book, so then I read the book um, to sort of nourish that character, but I felt a little more, uh, had a little bit more liberty than Sersha maybe and the, and the boys, because we don't know what's going what's to happen, if there's a sequel, or I don't know if she's, I think she's writing the second book right now, but it was definitely helpful to have Stephanie on set, because she had obviously very strong feelings. So I have a question. Was it hard staying clean wearing all that white? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently aliens figured out how to do laundry. <laughs> yes, that was getting old after a minute. <laughs> and the cars, too. It was like, the car, Diane, the car. Diane. <laughs> 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 have a little Clorox. Like, Seriously, I mean, it's crazy. When you read the book, after you read the script, were you surprised at how different the character's description is in the book? Uh, yeah, I was, and also just the way the movie looked, you know, like, they, I think um, Andrew obviously had a very strong visual vision for the movie, um, but both Stephanie, you know, they when they initially contacted me, were like, you know, it's, I, I know that in the book she's, I think she's dark hair and, you know, sort of short and all of that, um, when Andrew brought up my name, she immediately was... She, she could see that vision, you know, that she, I think they, one of the um, seekers or the, the, the aliens that you see to be very pure and kind of like very calm and sort of streamlined, you know, so I guess that was her idea. Do you think your character is the villain or were you trying to play it as not the villain, just this is her drive? Well, that's, that's the complexity of the part because we don't really know who the villain is, right? Mm -hmm. Is it the alien or is it the human that's inside mm -hmm. of her? Um, and it was a challenge to bring that to s the screen because as you said, you don't really understand what's going on until the end. And Lacey, the human that's inside of me, we don't know her journey, you know, what her journey is going to be. So that's actually really interesting, right? Mm -hmm. Like, who, who, what makes our world uh, so great and what are the flaws and, and how maybe we're better off being I think the extreme emotions, you know, I think uh, as much as you hate going through uh, pain, um, the, the, when it's good, when you have it, when you feel joy or when you feel just simply alive, you know, I think that would be strange to be just always perfect. I hear that you are a sci-fi fan. What is yeah. your favorite sci-fi story or genre? Well, the Star Trek Star Wars for me, I mean, I, you know. Yay! Um, so <laughs> I love that. Um, I grew up, I had a younger brother, so he was totally into all kinds of, whether it was superheroes or sci-fi, um, V, the, remember that show, V? Mm -hmm. Like, that was one of my favorites. So that leads you to your interest in this project? 
Um, also, I mean, it's definitely something I've always wanted to do because I feel like as an actor, you, your imagination can run wild because all these characters are larger than life and you have to face the most improbable scenarios. It, since you, you mentioned Star Wars, are you, you going to knock on Disney's door and ask for a role in one of those new three movies? I wish that's how it worked. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would totally do that. Although, you know, I've always wanted to play, you know, my, my partner was on a show called Fringe, and they have, like, the craziest sci-fi weird things happen mm -hmm. to them, and I've always wanted to be, like, somebody dying of some crazy illness. And then I did a day on that show, and it cured me for life, because that makeup... I'm not kidding. I got up at 2 in the morning to do, do like, crazy shit makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I'm done. I'm a monster. So contacts you can handle, but all of the... It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> How has the... How has Stephanie's fans been towards you and, and accepting you and get and you then getting into this fan base? I I didn't quite realize what I was getting myself into. Even though I've seen Twilight, but it's not like, you know, I go to the premieres or a part of a fan forum for Twilight. Um, but yesterday we did a, a a book signing at a mall. Was that your first one? My first time ever. I mean I don't make teenage you know <laughs> There's a lot of fans. I was like, Are you kidding me right now? But it's it, honestly, it's really neat. I've never quite seen people so devoted to a writer and then us because we become like the, the, the incarnation of their imagination, you know, mm -hmm. and it was quite insane, you know, it was really great. I will say it's great. I Welcome like to I'm the insanity. A, no, I feel like I'm part of a cool kids club, you know, oh. I'm part of like, you know, I can go out and be cool. <laughs> Of the other worlds that the, um, the souls came from, is there one that sticks out in your mind when you read the book and said, hey, I'd like to check out that one? Not really. No? No, that water covered, like weird. Uh, yeah. Bats. No, yeah, bats. <laughs> Spiders. It seemed very wet and humid and dark. I don't know. <laughs> How, would you, oh, How would you describe your character in three words? Terrifyingly pleasant. Um, uh, pretty fly. Because she has the tools, and, you know, and then and then uh, also really sad, you know. You work 